So far, we've looked at the addition of nucleophiles to carbonyl compounds, where we have some nucleophile uh, that uh, may have a proton on it or not, but we typically put the nucleophile on the carbonyl carbon and protonate the oxygen. Today, we're going to look at something that's a little bit different. The first step of the reaction is exactly the same as everything else we've been doing. These particular reactions we'll discuss as we go on are done under slightly acidic conditions. So we have some uh, acid around. We don't know what that acid is uh, and what our solvent mixture is, but something is carrying a proton around that's available to form bonds uh, with bases to protonate them. Hopefully you're looking at these compounds and thinking that the most likely thing to get protonated is going to be that amine. That's the most strongly basic molecule of the molecules we have up here. And most of the time, that proton will probably be sitting on that amine as an ammonium. So we would have RNH3+. But that actually doesn't lead us to anywhere. What we need to do is get the proton onto the oxygen. And that will occur once in a while. So let's do that. The first step in this reaction to lead to a successful reaction is protonation of the carbonyl oxygen. And once we've done that, uh, we've made this a pretty good, a very good new electrophile, in fact. Uh, amines probably are nucleophilic enough to add without the acid, but as we'll see, we need it to make the reaction go further. So the next step in the reaction is now our nucleophilic attack at the protonated carbonyl uh, at the carbon, at the carbonyl carbon. And we get this species. Now I'm going to put all my protons there. R. And our positive charge is now, was on the oxygen was on the proton, we protonated on the oxygen, now the positive charge is on the nitrogen, and we're doing this reaction, something will come around and pull off uh, this proton. We'll just call it base. And the only reason I'm calling it base is because in this reaction it's acting as a base. It might be another amine, it might be a carbonyl containing compound, it might be a solvent molecule, but something will pull that proton off and we're going to have our conjugate acid. Since I had my base as neutral, it's now going to be positive and we have what looks like a completion for this reaction, but what we're going to see is it's, it is not. Okay, we have an amino alcohol. This is equivalent to the hemiacetal that we've talked about before, except instead of having an alcohol bonded to the same carbon uh, that contains an OH, we have an amine. Now, this thing that's carrying the base can bump back into this molecule. If it protonates uh, the nitrogen, we just go back this way. But instead, it could protonate the oxygen of the hydroxyl group. And when we do that, we can go somewhere else besides back to starting materials. Notice now we've set this thing up to have a molecule of water leave, right? Here we see what could become a molecule of water, all it has to do is leave. And we're going to help it leave in this instance. We're going to push it off with this pair of electrons on the nitrogen. We don't have to do this, and I'll explain why in a minute. But I like to do it because it sets us up to see what our final product is going to be. Notice now I have a four valent nitrogen, so I have to put my positive charge there. So, uh, by the way, our base is still around. We don't know what it is. There's lots of things that can act in it, and we're going to need it now. 
We have a protonated uh, compound. It has a carbon-nitrogen bond, double bond. Uh, we can draw a resonance structure just like we could with the protonated carbonyl. So this is very much like a protonated carbonyl. And now all we have to do is use our base with its lone pair of electrons. And it's going to pull off that proton. And we're going to get to our final product. is an imi. Now, notice that what has left water molecule, forgot to put the water molecule, let's carry it through, we have a water molecule. That's the other product of this reaction. And we've reformed the acid that we started at the beginning. So, a primary amine reacting with a carbonyl compound, like an aldehyde or a ketone, uh, will lose two atoms of hydrogen, they'll combine with the oxygen, and we get our imi and a molecule of water.